Hello, my friends. It is that time of year again. Yes, I am bringing you 2020's holiday gift guide for toddlers. Coming up. Hey mamas and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, my name is Nicole. I'm a mama. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, an intentional parenting coach, as well as a certified lactation counselor. And this channel is geared to just help make motherhood easier on you by providing tips, strategies, and tools that I have learned either through my professional experience or as a mama. So each year I like to bring to you a holiday gift guide to help make shopping a bit easier and also so you're not wasting money. I like to go through and find the best products in terms of quality, the best deals so you're not wasting money. And most importantly, I love finding products and toys that are going to serve your child's development and that leave some room for your kiddo to grow into because it is such a bummer when you buy something that you think is age appropriate and then your kiddo is on to the next thing a week or two later. So I can't wait to share this year's holiday gift guide. And just a quick note before we dive into the holiday gift guide, each of the items I mention will have a corresponding link in the description box below. And just to note, I am an Amazon associate, so you may see an affiliate link for each of these items. So the first item I have on my list is an indoor swing, or in this case, the trapezius swing. And many pediatric OTs will tell you that swings are amazing. They can help with sensory regulation, they can help with sensory stimulation, and just sensory play in general. And these days when we are limiting our outdoor play and kids are not outside on the play gyms, having an indoor swing can really, really go a long way in terms of, again, helping to regulate your kiddo so they feel calm and safe inside their body. So again, this is one of those products that's gonna be able to grow with your kiddo. You can start super young with this swing and adults are in the swings. Us as pediatric OTs get in the swings with the kiddo, so this is a great investment for many years to come. Purchasing a 360 swivel piece for the swing is going to be perfect because then your kiddo's gonna be able to rotate in circles. And some kiddos need that vestibular input, and so being able to rotate in circles, rock back and forth, and just feel their body cocooned in the swing is, it does wonders for a lot of our kiddos. And again, because the classroom is now inside of our homes and so is a lot of play, and as we move into the winter months where it's colder and we're going to be even more within our own walls, this swing can be a beautiful investment. Next on my list for the holiday gift guides are play kits by Love Every. So first I wanna tell you guys, I'm super excited to announce this. I am Love Every's newest expert partner. That means I'm gonna be working really closely with them and it's a beautiful opportunity because I have been eyeing their stuff for years. No joke, when I first saw their play gym, Kai was much too old for me to purchase it, but I really wanted to get my hands on it because they just make quality, beautiful products. And this is something I speak about again and again and again on my channel. So knowing now and having my hands on their play kits, this is such a great gift idea. Whether you have a kiddo who is a toddler or you know someone who has a toddler. So the play kits are subscription based or you can just purchase a one-off kit. They make kits for kiddos age zero to three. So you can start at the very beginning when you have a newborn and go all the way up through the toddler years. What's great about this is it's designed with other child development experts. So you're getting input from other OTs, other physical therapists, speech language pathologists who know child development really well. So these experts have all contributed in one way or another to developing really high quality toys that research shows is going to facilitate child development, which I am all about. So if you're looking to make life easier on yourself or another mama, I love the play kits because they're going to get multiple toys within each box 
and you know that it's high quality, you know that it's going to facilitate development, and you won't have to worry about piecing together various toys that may or may not be quality, may or may not serve a great educational purpose, so on, so forth. Everything comes in the box. So I highly recommend these kits. So I'm lucky enough to have access to these kits and I'm starting at the very beginning with Naya as she's only a couple weeks old and she is already loving the items inside of this. So I will say thus far, it has been a hit. All right, next on my list is a modeling kit. Now, I did a video a few years ago on something very similar to this. This is such a great Thing for sensory play. So you get a package of all different colors of these small little pieces that feel like foam. And when they get wet, they're going to basically adhere to other pieces of foam. So you can create these really awesome pieces. So your little one is able to use his or her imagination and they're able to problem solve. Like how wet can you get each piece before it basically disintegrates, right? Or how hard do you need to push the pieces together to make them stick? So this kit is something that has the capability ability of entertaining your little one for a good chunk of time, especially if you choose to sit down and join your kiddo. Kai had a really great time when we did this activity together. We built flowers, we made a boat. So it's super inexpensive and it's a great way to entertain your little one while indoors. Right next on my list is something a little different. I think that this is great when we talk about open-ended toys. These are large silk scarves and I love this for infants. I also love this for toddlers, especially toddlers because the imagination starts to kick in. So you have these different color scarves that can be used for various things. You can use them as superhero capes. You can do hide and seek. You can place objects underneath them. So like for your very young toddlers, like where is it object permanence? The list goes on and on. It's just a really simple piece to have in your toolbox that can really spark imagination and really facilitate speech. As an OT, you know, a lot of times you may hear me focusing on things Things like gross motor, fine motor, or even feeding and not talking a whole lot about speech, but you have these different color scarves and you can talk about the texture. You can talk about the colors. Again, you can introduce imaginary play and characters stuffed animals. So again, just a great tool to have in your toolbox when it comes to sensory play, when it comes to sparking the imagination and facilitating speech. Next on the list is a very small indoor trampoline. So I like go back and forth with the trampoline thing because I, I feel like <laughs> you gotta be really careful with these things. This is a very small one. It, it's hardly off the ground. And I think that with the correct supervision, there are so many more benefits to potential cost here. Again, we're going back to the fact that we are limited in our outdoor play. Winter is upon us and these kiddos need outlets to move their body and get their sensory needs met. So proprioception, that is us feeling where our body is in space, being able to jump up and down, to pull heavy things, to push heavy things. That is all in the realm of proprioception. So this trampoline is going to aid your kiddo in regulating their proprioceptive needs. If you feel like your kiddo is jumping off the walls or they are jumping off the couch, this would be a great tool to introduce in play. Likewise, if you're not a huge fan of the trampoline, maybe you sub it out for one of those roadie bounce horses. I've done that in past gift guide videos. It's the same idea. You're bouncing up and down. You're getting that proprioceptive input. But between the swing, we have the vestibular input, and now we have a trampoline where we're jumping and we're bouncing. We're getting the proprioceptive input. Again, beautiful tools in the toolbox to help your kiddo feel calm when they're stuck indoors and there's limited activities for them to run around and get their sensory needs met outdoors. Next on my list, I have a large wagon. Okay, so here's what's great about this really big wagon. It obviously tows a lot. In this picture, I think it has two adults standing in it and I believe the weight limit is about 300 pounds, which is a lot. So your little one can tote all of their toys around. So we just talked about that proprioception and heavy work, which means we're either pushing or pulling heavy items. So if your little one is feeling a little ram 
rambunctious, you can load up his or her wagon and have them pull it around or push it around. That's going to help them identify where their body is in space, provide feedback up to the brain and give them a sense of calm. So this wagon's great for your little one. It's also great for you if you're out and about and you wanna give your little one a ride. All right, all right. Okay, so next on the list are kid safe knives. These are so cool. I am new to this world, because let's be honest, I am not a cook, so I'm not doing amazing things in the kitchen. I had a friend who told me about kid safe knives, and I thought that's such a cool invention because kiddos wanna help. They wanna be a part of the things that you're doing. So if you're cooking in the kitchen, I'm sure you've been asked by your toddler if they can help prepare the food at one point or another. So having a kid safe knife where they're able to cut food and not cut themselves is an incredible invention. So I wanted to add that to the list because it can also be great sensory play, great bonding opportunity. And again, another opportunity for speech development, right? Talking about the textures, the types of foods you're preparing, the shapes that you're cutting the food in. So another great tool to have in your mama or papa toolbox. Next up, I have this really cute tent. And actually, I love the tents because they just provide a quiet space for kiddos. I'm going to keep moving back to this. You have all the family members in one space. Sometimes it could feel like you don't have your own safe, quiet space within your home, right? Because everybody's sharing same rooms, same spaces. People are all congregated together instead of like, on different schedules. So for your toddler, it might be nice to give them their own quiet space within a tent. This could be a place where they look at stories. Maybe they have a nightlight inside. Again, just a space to help them regulate, help them calm. Maybe they take naps in there. I just thought that this would be a fun piece to add in the holiday gift guide as a lot of little ones enjoy squirreling away in small little spaces that feel like their own. We have a similar tent for Kai and he really enjoys setting it up, reading in there and just spending some quiet time. So I wanted to add something similar to this holiday list. Last but certainly not least, we have this realistic toolkit. I really liked this because for one, it's going to facilitate fine motor skills, which is our kiddos ability to use their hands and their eyes together to complete tasks, right? So they're going to be turning screwdrivers or placing screws in certain places. But as a mama of a almost five-year-old boy, Kai's really into tools. When we moved into the house and Mike was changing fixtures and putting things up, Kai wanted to help with everything. So this is a great way to introduce tools and learn a new life skill, right? Understanding the difference between the different tools, screws, nuts, bolts, all of that good stuff. So I love this toolkit because all of us will fix something within our house at some point and your kiddo's probably gonna be curious about it. And this is a great way to encourage the life skill of knowing how to use these really important tools. <laughs> so these are the toddler gifts that I am recommending this year in 2020, again, high quality, bang for your buck. And again, these toys are going to help facilitate your child's development in many, if not all areas. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Again, everything I've mentioned is linked in the description box. And if you have a tiny one, if you have an infant, be sure to check out my infant gift guide for 2020. I will link it up above for you and down in the description box below. I hope you guys found this helpful and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.